Hi there. Welcome to 2018. Here we are into another year. This will make uh, nearly two years now of uh, videos. I think my first video was uh, sometime in January of 2016, I believe. So here we are. Now, to start off this year, I'd like to revisit an old topic. An old topic that uh, keeps rearing its ugly head on many other sites as well as mine. And that is gear acquisition syndrome, GAS. Uh, I have suffered from it greatly in the past. I really have convinced myself that I've gotten over it in this past year because of a couple of changes I have made to the way I do things. And I'd like to share them with you. First of all, I... As I said in an earlier video, I was fascinated with the idea of minimalizing. Now, I don't mean scraping it down to just a camera and a lens and that's it. But I mean getting rid of the absolute excess. So over the past two years, I have sold off uh, three uh, of my camera bodies. I now have, uh, I've sold off some kit lenses, um, some other lenses that I didn't make much use of. And the result is that now with my Pentax gear, I still have two systems, but with my Pentax gear, I have one main camera. My main camera is a K3. Um, I have a very complete set of lenses for that camera. I also have an old DS or a star or an asterisk IST DS from when Pentax had someone of questionable mental capability naming their products because they made no sense. But the products, unfortunately, were much better than the name. Uh, the old DS has, has done the rounds and has come back to me, and now I've been using it this Christmas uh, as a makeshift uh, photo booth in my uh, television room in my basement. As you can see, by these uh, poorly focused clips here. Uh, the setup was very simple. I had basically ancient materials. I had my ancient Manfrotto tripod, my uh, equally ancient manual focus uh, Ricoh lens that dates back to around 1980 or so, uh, a Vivitar 285 flash that's at least 20 or 30 years old, uh, a set of Yongno uh, triggers so that I could fire it uh, remotely. One flash stand, which uh, I light stand, which I put the, the flash very high and pointed it more or less at the ceiling. Uh, a little backdrop made up of some Christmas decorations. Uh, and uh, from that, I managed to shoot uh, a few cute little Christmas portraits. Nothing fancy, just something simple. And the six megapixel of the camera was not really a limitation because these were basically for social media sharing anyway. So a very simple setup made up of extremely old and very modest gear. So what about the rest of my photography? What am I doing? Well, obviously, with the K3 and the good Pentax lenses, if I have something very interesting that I am really concerned about getting the best possible pictures, then what I will do is uh, take that gear. However, on a day-to-day -day basis, all of this Olympus gear that I have lying around, uh, much of it now is... Uh, basically locked in, in kind of a, a gear limbo. For instance, I've been carrying this around. Notice the bag. Very simple. It's a little um, SLR type bag that my wife purchased many years ago uh, for traveling because it was very small. In it, I have my OMD EM1 and on it my old and uh, honestly not the best quality definitely not the fastest focusing but the most compact lens that I have for the system the old 17 millimeter f 2.8 uh, and then I stuck the flash on it because 
even though I find direct flash is pretty annoying and not very good, uh, when I'm out at a party, it's better to have a little extra light than none at all. So I deal with it. Pretty minimal. There are a couple of spare batteries in the front here. There is an extra memory card, which I'll probably not need in the top here. And the whole thing is compact enough that I can leave it by the door and as I walk out the door grab it and take it with me. That is one of my ways now fighting gas. Now I still have two other camera bags packed and ready to go with more specialized gear but for day-to-day -day stuff for myself where I just want to practice taking different types of pictures. For myself, this simple little package now is working out quite well. Now the only other gear related thing I'd like to mention today before I move on to anything else is the fact that I, I must say that the camera did let me down once. I don't know if it was the camera or the lens and if any of you have experienced this please let me know. I was out on a very cold night now the EM1 is rated for something like minus 10 degrees and that was probably around the temperature. However, after the first picture or two that I took with it, it first of all wouldn't focus and then suddenly the screen went black but with all of the display information still there. I was left scratching my head. When I got inside I took the lens off and found that the shutter was closed. Um, I tried turning it off, turning it on, removing the battery, nothing worked. I said, oh well, I appear to have a dead camera. Uh, later, when I finally got home, I switched it to video mode. The shutter opened up and it's worked fine ever since. I don't know if it was the cold. I don't know if there was some sequence of buttons that I accidentally pressed because I was wearing gloves. Because, let's face it, the EM1 uh, control layout is pretty tight because of the small size of the camera. Maybe I hit a sequence of buttons that caused this lockup. I don't know. Maybe it was the lens that caused it. I don't know. So, right now, it's a bit of a mystery to me. And the result is that my confidence in using the Olympus under harsh conditions is right now a little shaky. Uh, I have never had a Pentax camera misbehave on me. In fact, the only time I've ever had a, a, an issue because of weather or anything like that with a Pentax, I was using my K10D at temperature, the temperature that day was minus 18. And the lens that I had on it was a simple kit lens. It was not a weather resistant lens. It was just a regular kit lens. After nearly two hours in this cold, the lens itself is stiffened up to the point where it wouldn't focus anymore. So I stuck the camera in the bag. Uh, the next day I took it out. Everything was working fine. It was just a case of the lens after two over two hours at minus 18 degrees Celsius uh, stiffened up. Well, Given the fact that nobody claimed this lens had any uh, weather resistance at all, or cold resistance, I thought it did quite well. And it did not do any permanent damage to the lens. But, as I said, uh, time will tell. Hopefully I won't run into this problem again, but if I do, uh, I will let you know. And if you have had any experience like that that you can share with me, please do. Well. This uh, video seems to be wandering right now. So let's get back to the beginning. Uh, I'm wishing everybody a very happy new year. Uh, 2018 is here. My videos shall continue, I hope, uh, throughout this year. Uh, hopefully I can come up with some new content that will be of interest to people. Gear will definitely be secondary because more than anything else now, uh, my conclusion, and you can see from the camera that I was carrying around, my conclusion is that if you have a camera with you and a single lens with you, then you are going to use it. 
If the camera is sitting on a shelf, it does nothing. If it is in a bag with a dozen lenses that leaves you scratching your head and wondering which lens to choose, then it's also not effective. But if it's in your hand and there is a lens on it and you know the limitations of that lens and you are willing to work around those limitations, then you will probably start seeing a definite improvement in your photography. So guys, get out and take some pictures in 2018. Let's make this the year where this channel and others on YouTube and Facebook and so on start seeing some quality content. Not not just point and shoot stuff, not just capturing action, but thoughtful pictures, pictures that have been given a little bit of consideration and worked at being the best they can be. All right, well, um, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope you all uh, have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please uh, give me a like. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And of course, if you think that there's anyone who might get something out of this, like for instance, somebody who explained to me that my little Olympus problem, then by all means share it. Well, Happy New Year and bye for now.